And some breaking news tonight, another major event happening, and that is the primaries, including in the state of Georgia. Decision Desk HQ has projected Governor Brian Kemp, the winner of the Republican nomination for governor in Georgia. He has defeated former Senator David Perdue. This is a race uh, that we have been watching closely, not just because of its importance in the state of Georgia, but also because who was in their corner. Brian Kemp was supported by Vice President Mike Pence. David Perdue, of course, was supported by former President Trump. I want to go now to correspondent Kelly Meyer. She is live in Georgia with the results coming in tonight. Kelly, good evening. Good evening, Marty. Well, we are waiting to hear from current governor uh, Brian Kemp here on this stage behind me as we learn and projecting that he will be the winner in this race as so far with some of the votes coming in he is winning by a lot of big lead ahead of former u.s senator david perdue and what you mentioned there it's interesting is that kemp wasn't endorsed by former president donald trump here he had the support of former vice president mike pence who campaigned with him just last night stumping for him calling him a friend saying that he was the republican candidate that could beat stacey abrams this november so it's a hit to trump's endorsement but we are seeing in some other races that trump is uh, the Trump test is passing here in Georgia, where we are seeing with the race for U.S. Senate, Herschel Walker winning the Republican nomination in that race. And we are seeing that uh, Senator Warnock will be heading to face him this November as well. But really fascinating results here with this race for Brian Kemp and between him and uh, Senator Perdue, former Senator David Perdue, that Kemp is able to take out this win here tonight, really uh, sending a message to former President Donald Trump and showing that the voters here didn't really look at the those endorsements. They tuned those endorsements out and they focused here on re-electing Brian Kemp or sending him to face Stacey Abrams, setting up that rematch that they had four years ago. He defeated her in 2018. Now they're setting up their rematch. Stacey Abrams telling us earlier today that it is going to be different than four years ago and it will not be history repeating itself here. Marnie? Yeah, Brian Kemp uh, defeating Stacey Abrams by about 50,000 votes or so in the last election. So it's setting up to be a close race uh, come this fall. Uh, what's been the reaction um, when you talk about the Trump endorsement and the importance of that key endorsement, especially for Republicans? Um, you mentioned it's working, but um, I guess with the exception of this gubernatorial race. Well. Um, yeah, it's really been a mixed bag, Marnie. And even last week when we were coming the race in Pennsylvania, we saw that it worked for Doug Mastriano for the governor's race, but we're not sure if it worked for Dr. Oz in that race here. And we are seeing with the governor's race here in Georgia that Trump's endorsement didn't really make a difference. They wanted to see uh, Brian Kemp take this nomination. They liked what he did during the pandemic, trying to keep Georgia open. There really was no mention of Trump in his uh, election eve rally with Pence last night. They really focused on defeating who can defeat Stacey Abrams this November. That was the main focus for them. So it's just interesting to see this dynamic here. But still, we are uh, waiting to see in the race for Secretary of State whether Raffensperger or Heiss will win in that race. That's going to be a close one. But like we said, Trump's pick for U.S. Senate, Republican uh, who won the nomination there, Herschel Walker, he took that race here tonight. He's going to be facing Warnock this November. So it's interesting to see the test, some passing, some not, Trump's test here in Georgia, Marnie. Right. Yeah. No, he. Uh... Um, he's supporting candidates some down ballot races this year, um, about a dozen or so. Uh, and Georgia, not the only state we're focusing on tonight. Kelly Meyer, thank you. There are also. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.